Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. Scarcity, sister, scarcity, scarcity. It is the feeling of not enough, not good enough, not enough money, not enough time. See, people think that scarcity is just simply a mindset, which it is a mindset, but particularly about money, right? That you'll never have enough money or feeling like you don't have enough. But it can, you can apply scarcity to any area of your life. You don't have enough money. You're feeling like you don't have enough love, feeling like you don't have enough time, you don't have enough resources, you don't have enough energy. When you're in the mindset of scarcity, sister, it's never enough. You look at others that are more in that place of abundance or maybe moving into prosperity and you're jealous of them. You feel like there's so many pieces of the pie and if that woman takes a piece of it, that means that it's less for you. Okay, so that is the mindset of scarcity. And I'm telling you right now, scarcity will fucking bury you. It will bury you. So how does this play out? And just know that scarcity, people can have a scarcity mindset and have a billion dollars in the bank. They can have a scarcity mindset and have all the love in the world and have an amazing family and have an amazing business and have abundant health, but yet feel like they don't have enough, that they're going to run out of it that there is a finite amount of those things. And we're not going to have the conversation of why that happens. That's irrelevant. But what do you do to change that? That's the conversation that needs to happen. Because I know that some of you are in that space. And this is, listen, this is not to judge you either, sister, like at all. If you're in that place, you're in that place. I'm still in that place sometimes in my life. I might find myself jump to there. I'm much more and live my life in a place of abundance and moving towards prosperity. See, abundance says that you have enough, that there's always enough to go around, right? Prosperity is then when you are in a place, specifically financially, that you do have more than enough so that there's really, there's no worries about that stuff. And then the conversation becomes about legacy. What is the legacy you're creating for your family, for the world, for your community, Like, how do you really want to be known? When people are reading your eulogy, what do you want them to say? Who was, who, who was the woman that you were, right? That's really prosperity when you're in that space. So for me, I live most of my, most of my life in abundance. I'm definitely moving towards that place of prosperity without a doubt. But there are times that I skip back to scarcity and I go like, oh fuck, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. And I'm just like, wait a second, Karen, come on now. And where does it all start? Well, it starts with knowing first what you want. See, because if you don't know what you want, you will be reactive in life. Things will just happen and it'll feel like you're putting out fires, putting out fires, respond to the things that you don't like, don't want, don't agree with in your life versus having a solid understanding of like what you stand for, what you want, why it has to happen. And creating power within your life. So how do you create power? Now, I recorded a video this morning coming back from a boxing training session with my amazing trainer, Rob. Big shout out to Rob at Victoria Martial Arts. And uh, I will actually put a link to that video in the show notes here. But what I talked about in that video is this concept of threshold, what my coach, Satema, has taught to me. And the only way to gain more power within your life and if you are more of that powerful person, you, you show up in your life with power, you live, you be power in most parts of your life, scarcity just doesn't really have any air to breathe in. Like there's no room for scarcity when you're a place of power. So the question then becomes is how do you access more power? How do you become a more powerful person, a more powerful woman? And just saying, I'm just going to do it and be it, that doesn't fly. Because even if you did that and say, well, I'm going to say these, these mantras or these affirmations, I'm just going to show up and read these books. I'm going to listen to Karen's podcast, bah, get pumped and go, I am powerful. I'm going, to, I'm going to box like she is. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to lift heavyweight. I'm going to go run and like, I feel powerful. But unless 
that is a mindset that has a grounding inside of you, sister, it'll just come and go. It'll come and go. It'll be like, you know, a lot of you reach out to me and, and I appreciate this so much as saying, wow, I love the podcast. It's really changing my life. Like it gets me pumped up for the day. And there's been times that I've engaged with some of you and said, great, like what action have you taken? Well, I haven't yet, but like it just gets me going for the day. Awesome. And I'm glad that it did. But if you really want to learn how to access power, here's how it needs to happen. You will come up in your life against something called threshold. And threshold is when it starts to get really fucking hard. Like it sucks. Okay. This morning for me, as I share in this video, was at the very end we were doing a drill where Rob is by me. He's got like a big rubber band, um, like assisted pull-ups. Sometimes people will use this. Like it's just like a huge elastic band, right? Around my waist. He's pulling it as I then sprint about maybe, I don't know, 20 meters to the punching bag. And, you know, punch 10 times. And the whole time it's resistance, right? I'm having to, to like run, sprint to get to the punching bag, punch 10 times, and then like keep that resistance as he tries to pull me back. And we did that for two minutes. And then we did a second round. Now I finished and I love doing this. Like I love doing this. I have strong legs. I'm like, yes, let me just end this, like in this training session, like on a, like, just, you know, crush me, like spring it. So we started into it. And at the end of that, it was fucking hard. At the end of that, I'm like, I'm literally saying to Rob, I'm like, dude, I think I'm done. And he's like, I go, I feel like I'm going to puke. He's like, all right. I go, no, like I literally feel like I'm going to puke. It's like, okay, I'll get you a bucket. And I automatically go to the, oh, no, no, but I have kids and I don't like, you know, it was hard, right? Like really hard, really hard. And that was after almost an hour of training, right? Or maybe 45 minutes or so of training. So, but then I realized that what I was hitting now was threshold and I have choices, right? Most of the world will work this way. It's too hard. Let me retract. Like I'm going to resist the thing that's difficult because I just want to be comfortable, Everything should be easy. I don't want hard. Like, this is fucking work. Yes, it is. So that's option number one. Option number two is to say, fuck you, threshold. I'm going to keep going. And what happens, sister, when you do that is it now increases your capacity. So the next time, which is what I did, I said, I'm, I go, let me just take breath, water. I'm like, okay, next round, let's go, right? Because it's a mindset. It's not that my physical body is breaking down. It's my thoughts about that. And I was like, let's go. I can do this. I was like, ah, this is threshold. Because what happens now, and because I went that second round, the next time that we come to that, in my mind and in my body, it's like, we've done this before. We've hit hard and kept on going. See, that's how you increase your capacity to do more work. It's not because I have a special training system. It's not because I have an efficient way to do more things in my day and I have a, a special planner that's going to make it all come together. Fuck all that. Stop looking for external ways to increase and give you power and start realizing and accessing that is inside of you, sister. It is inside of you. Because when you hit that threshold and you keep the fuck going, no matter what, your capacity increases, that is how you access power in your life. When you realize that you can do difficult things, when you realize that you can hit that and keep going, that is how you access power. And the sad thing is most of you will never do this. About 2% of you will. I mentioned this in a previous podcast. Are you the 2%? 98% of you listen to this, get value, do nothing. It's cool. Like seriously, it's all good. But there's 2% of you that are listening right now that are hearing this message and just like, oh man, I want to show up more powerfully in my marriage, with my kids, with my business, with my health, with me. This is how you do it, sister. This is how you do it. And this will pull you out of scarcity. It is the only fucking way that I know and I have found to be true for me and for my clients to move you the fuck out of scarcity. To take your version board and burn it. Stop buying so many books. Like even stop listening to my podcast. Like honestly, just start executing on shit. And when you hit threshold, keep going. So that can be a difficult conversation in your marriage. It can be hitting a wall in your business and going, oh my God, can people please get my message? Why is this not happening at the speed that I want? 
It can be with your body and going, why isn't my body changing more? Keep going, keep doing the work, hit threshold, keep going, capacity increases, and you access power. That is the only way to get there, sister. So we're, here's a more tip for today. Where in your life right now are you resisting when you hit threshold? Write that down. And what is the one action step you can take to shift that? That's it. Short and sweet, but this is impactful. If you get this, sister, like listen to this episode three, four, five, six, ten times to really understand this because this took me months to really grasp. And I'm giving you the, the Cliff's Note version here to fast track this for you. Because really, like what I do on this podcast and as a coach to my amazing clients is to save you time. This shit took me years to understand. I can help you get there faster. And this is exactly what the six amazing women that came to my recent live event were able to witness in two and a half days. Like what was possible to get clear? Like I want this in my marriage, in my business, with my health, with my purpose. Here's the absolute reason why. And now I have the tools to make it happen. Boom. Fucking plug and play. So I want you right now, if you want to learn how to access and gain power in your life, watch how these six women did, did it. I want you to go over to, to drkarenosborn.com slash live event, enter in your name and email. You're going to get immediate access to watch the Woman Wanting More live event movie, as well as the interviews after the event. Power Sister, it is there for you. It is the only way to move you out of scarcity and is absolutely possible. And if after watching this, you're just like, oh my God, I need to be at this event. Like sister, you got to apply. Time is ticking right now. Okay. We are currently, let's see, we're four weeks out from live event. Four weeks today. December 22nd is, oh wait, 21st. So four weeks in a day as I record this. Four weeks from when we actually, this episode's going to actually hit your phone and you'll be able to listen to it. So you'll have a chance to actually apply. Fill out the short application. It'll take you five minutes I've actually even streamlined it more. So literally it will take you five minutes to fill out. I will get notification and you and I will get on the phone and have a powerful conversation within the next 48 to 72 hours. You want power, sister? This is a way to make it happen. So I will talk the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from me doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the How to Get More tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com newsletter.